Hi everybody, welcome to the Leaf Heart Path. Thanks for being here today. My name is Andrea Graham. I am an intuitive healer, a Reiki and cord cutting practitioner, and a tarot card reader. If any of these services sound interesting to you, check out the description box below to book a session with me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on pick a card readings that are uplifting, encouraging, and focused on growth and healing. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos when I upload them. This week's reading focuses on how other people see you, specifically what makes you attractive. Everyone has something inside of them that makes them unique, it makes them special, and today's messages are about bringing that forward for you so that you can remember this, because every now and then we need that little pick-me-up and hopefully this reading brings that to you today. Keep in mind, this isn't just about romance, but how other people in the world see your attractive qualities in general. So this is family, this is friends, co-workers, colleagues, acquaintances, people you're meeting just in your day-to-day. So we have six piles this week to choose from, and we have our different decks here represented with the Ace of Wands. And we're going to start up here with pile one. Group one is represented with New Might. Pile two is Bumblebee Jasper. Pile three, Shiva Lingam Stone. And group four, pile four, this is Tourmalated Quartz. Pile five, Iolite. And pile six, we have Blue Tiger Iron. I don't know if you can see a little bit of the flash there on that. Okay, so take a moment, sit back, relax, take a deep breath. Cast your gaze over the piles here, which is speaking to you. You can pause the video should you need a little more time to choose. Timestamps and chapters are listed below in the description box. I will see you over in your video. Hi, group one. If you picked the new mite, then this is your reading about what makes you attractive. Let's take a look at your cards. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Queen of Cups. The Hanged Woman. the Five of Pentacles. We also have a few Oracle cards here that we'll be taking a look at a little bit later. Okay. So, first of all, Group 1, you are likely somebody who plays their cards close to their chest. You don't share everything about yourself, and that can be very intriguing. You may be a bit shy, a bit introverted, or very thoughtful, but likely very outgoing with your tight friends and your family. Those who know you get to see the real you, and even then, some of them may still be wondering if they're truly seeing the entire picture. There's that phrase that's saying, people say that still waters run deep. This is absolutely about that. Yeah. People want to get to know you to see what lies beneath that water, but they may have to get to work a bit to get into your good graces. And this is a bit of a challenge that can be very intriguing to many. You are likely physically attractive. Others see you as, as this queen that we have here. But notice how the queen's looking off into the distance. There's this otherworldliness about you. You're always a little removed, group one. And you may not be aware of the spell that you cast on others. There's some distance, there's some magic here. One toe in reality and the other one off in the ether somewhere. And so you have this lovely, 
kind of aura about you. In fact, this stone is just perfect with its reflections in it and the little flecks that it has in the new might. It just reminds me of the starry sky that we have here. Yeah, so within these layers, I'm, I'm seeing tissue paper that you might use in bagged gifts. There's just layers and layers. And, and people want to pull that all out. They want to know, you know, what, what's inside. They want to get to your heart. And I think that makes you a little bit of an enigma, group one. Now, with a hanged woman here, there are quite a few ways to look at this particular energy. This could indicate that you're off the market in terms of romance right now, due to any reason. Already involved, not interested, taking time out, whatever. And this can also mean that you're spending some time working on yourself, taking a pause, a rest, self-improvement, healing. It has the same removed quality, something untouchable about you that we talked about over here. People wonder what you have going on in your head. And I bet you've even had conversations where someone might approach you with the intent for romance and they might strike up this conversation with you and you literally have no idea what's going on. It's not naive. It's just that you're, you're not even going there in your mind at all. People might try to chat you up and you probably think that it's just friendly banter, but in reality, they might be interested. So you may have walked away from conversations, leaving some people baffled or possibly more curious about you. Yeah, and again, we have this removed quality here. And some of you may actually be quite hard on yourselves. You may not see your value, your worth, or you may be prone to days where you're a little bit down on yourself. and that could be part of your life journey group one it might be about tearing down that wall between here you know and here what we have going on there just so you can see this part of yourself seeing you and your beauty your wisdom your creativity the magic that you have the emotional depths yeah i truly see you you are a mermaid here you are a true mermaid group one We also have the moon. The nine of pentacles. And the four of pentacles. Okay, interesting. That's gonna drive me crazy. We'll pull that one down there. Okay. Yeah, so with the moon here, we have this dreamy quality. It's again, it's separate. There's a bit of an isolation. You don't quite belong here. You belong in the fairy realms, off in nature somewhere, skinny dipping under the light of a full moon. And, and notice, yeah, we have these depths here, the cards, the colors that we're using. You may actually be quite intuitive as well group one another unique quality to add to your character so you have these hidden depths that are just gorgeous and it makes people want to dive in there with you to do things they wouldn't normally do you may also be artistic group one some of you may have a flair for the, being a bit dramatic at times or you express yourself in an artistic manner and I don't see you as flaunting this though just naturally expressing it in a way that leaves people a little jaw dropped it's like that sword that you have hidden behind your back here. People want to see, they, they want to have what you're having. And you may seem a bit untouchable to some folks, regal even. But I think that you could blend into any place that you work, play, go quite easily. And you may feel a little different, a little alien from time to time, but you aren't. It's just that special quality you have that makes others notice you. You also may be very comfortable in nature or enjoy spending time outside. You may have a very special connection with nature and Mother Earth. So here's the thing, group one, people want to celebrate you. They want to do things with you. And it doesn't hurt to come out a bit if you're on the fence about showing more of your authentic self. There's a stability about you that people 
want to get to know under all those layers, a solidness. And when people are in with you, they're really in for life. You aren't wishy-washy with those closest to you. I'm not saying you're wishy-washy in general, but this is just that solidness is part of this core that, that people really want to get to know. And despite all this etherealness that we see here, you are very dependable, you are very steady. Someone that people want to be with long-term, you are literally the thing that dreams are made of, group one. Yeah. So let's take a look at our Oracle cards here. I'm actually gonna grab this one first. Yep, oh, upside down. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Firefly. That's beautiful. All right, we have Firefly. And then we have Magic House Stability. Oh my gosh, those are great. And the colors are perfect. Everything's kind of got that same kind of color scheme. We've got a lot of the purples and the darker colors here. So this Firefly is literally you. You are a light for others in the darkness. You're luminescent, you're ethereal. You make others feel better with your presence. And you may have a bit of a healer vibe to you as well, group one. There's this idea of you kind of blinking and someone's running to capture your essence, but you've vanished when they open their palms. You've slipped out the door. You always leave others wanting a little more from you. And I think this also speaks to creative bursts of inspiration and insight for you to channel. And with this magic house card here, this is perfect. While the firefly does have this transitory feeling, it's leading, it's magical. There's again, this stability here that we talked about. It makes up a large part of your character. You may have very strong earth energy in your charts, but there's this Piscean or watery intuition as well. This is that energy we were talking about, again, with the Four of Pentacles. Magic House couldn't be a better way to describe what you make and create for the world, the way you move, the way you house yourself. You are stardust made into stability, Group One. So Group One, that's what I have for you today. Some of the things that make you attractive. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to tell me in the box below what resonated for you today. And if you enjoyed this, please check out my other pick a card readings. I look forward to working with you again soon. Bye Group One. Hi Group Two. If you picked the Bumblebee Jasper, then this is your reading on what makes you attractive. Now keep in mind this won't cover everything, it's just the dominant energies that are coming through at this time. Let's take a look at your cards. We have got the Ace of Swords. Page of Wands. The Empress. And the star, very nice. Okay, there's some other cards we'll be taking a look at in just a moment. Okay, so group two. One of the things that is attractive about you is, first of all, your big, beautiful brain. You are sharp with your thoughts, your words, and some of you might be quite witty as well you are willing to approach situations and lend assistance to others who need help with practical solutions. You're very pragmatic. And I get that you really do enjoy helping other people and you are ready to dive into any type of realm and apply your knowledge and skills there. So you're willing to go out and even research things in all likelihood to reach out to other people and to help them. You have a sharp, and an open and a very curious mind, always seeking knowledge. You ask questions about other people, you listen intently, and that's a very attractive quality that naturally will draw others in to you. Some of you might be very vocal about your convictions and beliefs, while others of you may play it a little closer to the chest. Regardless, you will speak up when it counts, and you are unapologetic about that. And underneath the brains, there is a playfulness about you. It may need to be drawn out a little bit. I feel like there needs to be some 
balance for you in order to feel ready for that or to be open with others in that way, a balance within yourself and with the people around you. It can be fun and goofy, but there is this exterior that is just a little more serious here, a little more queen-like. That kind of energy can be very really intriguing and can draw some folks in. You know, what's underneath? What's going on? How can I get to know this person better? You know, what are they interested in? And Pile One did have a similar energy with that. So if you felt a nudge in that direction, be sure to check that video out as well. You may be physically attractive all the way around or have some very distinct physical features which grab people's attention. There is this very practical nature to you as well. You aren't what I would call incredibly whimsical, just rooted in your experience and what is around you. I don't see you being very flashy about your looks, just working with what you have. You aren't somebody who needs to be known for what they possess naturally already. You aren't necessarily seeking attention and I really don't see you flaunting it. It's just an accepted thing. And because of that, this humble nature that you have just about the way you look and, and about who you are in general, it really is a very attractive quality. You also may not need a lot of people around you either. I do just get this sense of, I don't want to say isolation, but just, just kind of being other, kind of being on your own here, a little introverted, introspective, but you are happy with smaller groups of people around you as well as being on your own. And it may make people often wonder what you're up to in your solo time. You know, what, what are they doing? What's this person doing? I want to know more about them. You also may have some nice pictures in your social media. Um, this is a little random, but I don't feel like they're forced or staged at all with you. You aren't somebody who's going to go after a title of social media king or queen, just likely some pictures you've taken outside. You may enjoy walking in nature, taking hikes, working out when you are outdoors. And I think that people really enjoy that bit of cheer that you share that way. And I do think there is this part of you that is on lockdown. You keep a little piece of yourself hidden. You guard it a little bit. It might be your heart, your true emotions. And perhaps for you, it wasn't necessarily safe for you to express these emotions at some point in your journey, so you keep them under lock and key. And that really, to me, reinforces this idea of just having this really amazing brain. I see you prioritizing intellect and logic, and perhaps that was a safer route for you, or just the one you inevitably took with the natural gifts that you have. So there is this wistfulness, this hopefulness with you that someone might see you and accept all of you. But here's the thing, group two, they do. And those of you, um, or those people who don't know you, they will accept you. It's safe to be yourself, to be all of you. That spark that you guard, it shines from within. And people can see that. You don't need to guard it so vigilantly because you really are more shiny than you realize. We also have, yeah, we've got the moon. That says a lot right there. The three of wands. And the eight of coins, okay. Not coins, yeah, coins, pentacles. Um, so yeah, with this moon here, I wanna put those cards together. There is this bit of fear, I think, of being totally vulnerable. When we have these, these monoliths right here, these big structures to me, it's like being on lockdown and we have the choppy waters here at the front, but we have the beauty of the moon and the stillness of the waters out here, that beautiful moon path, this glow. And to me, that's your heart, and it's absolutely huge. The way we see it cut to the moon sometimes at the edge of the horizon, it can be a little startling sometimes. There's just so much more waiting to be seen and revealed for you in this path as you slowly reveal more of yourself to others. 
And that in and of itself can be a very attractive quality. Like the star here almost looks like someone who is pole dancing, kind of stripping away the exterior layers one bit at a time, very slowly, a striptease to kind of reveal what's underneath. And also with the moon, you may be starting to play with your intuition a bit, which is very interesting group two. The moon can signify this, looking underneath the surface to see what is swimming below. And with the three of wands, we just have so much potential here, growth and expansion, a new viewpoint, excitement, happiness, connection, and the start of a new foundation. So that's almost like moving out of this energy into just this acceptance, dreaming bigger than your current viewpoints this new foundation, having faith that people love you so much more than you realize, group two, and I don't think you give yourself enough credit. You are a beautiful creature and a beautiful soul, and you have an energy about you that makes people feel like they could have some of that too by spending time with you, trying to catch some of your lightning in a bottle. You know, it may not work, but they're going to try. And I think people see this energy of enthusiasm and excitement about new projects that you're taking on, and that's rather magnetic. Your work ethic is just amazing, it's incredible. You're generous with those around you, the people who are close to you, and you likely also donate time and money to causes that are important to you. And this charity and gift of energy is enormously beautiful, yeah. So let's get into our last little oracle cards here. So first, sorry if you don't like spiders. We have tarantula. <laughs> I love that card. And magic forest hope. Oh, that's so pretty. These are perfect. Okay, so this tarantula card to me represents applying a creative work ethic toward making something beautiful and stable again to me this is also a nudge towards working on your intuition as we saw with the moon card so you are in all likelihood quite intuitive and can be patient i think as well you work hard when you apply yourself and get things done it doesn't matter if it takes a while you may also be frugal with money, but I think you give when it counts. I do t tend to see spiders as fire energy, even though they're associated with earth, but I'm getting that creative streak that you possess coming through as well that we saw here. So I think with this tarantula appearing, you are at this crossroads group too. Will you let more light shine into that spark in your heart? I think the tarantula here, the spider friend here, is waiting for you to do that and just letting you know it's okay to shine. Look, they even have that glow around them. And with the magic forest, it's a bit like the star, which is also kind of this idea of hope. So we have this extra connection here. And I do think you have this tenderness underneath your logical side, like we talked about. And just like this lush growth of a forest that we kind of see here, you can tend to this garden and see the magic that bursts forth as a result. This is just a major, I think, glow up opportunity for you, group two. The light is shining in you and it's also on you. You have the spotlight on you. And I don't know if you see that or not, but it's coming, it's there. And I can't wait to see what you do next. So group two, that's what I have for you today in what makes you attractive. Plus we had a little extra in there, a little pep talk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to tell me in the box below what resonated for you today. And if you enjoyed this, please check out my other pick a card readings. And I look forward to working with you again soon. Bye group two. Hi group three. If you picked the Shiva Lingam stone, then this is your reading on what makes you attractive. Now bear in mind, this is just the energies that are coming through at the moment and that there are likely many reasons why you are an attractive person and human being, um, but these are just the energies that are coming through the most strongly at the current moment. So let's take a look at your cards. First we have judgment. The Four of Cups. The love 
covers. And the Four of Swords. We'll get started with these. And there's a few more to look at in a bit. Okay. So, my first thought is group three. Is that you have a very, either a very dry sense of humor, you're witty, or you are sarcastic. I think you're very intelligent and you have a way with words that makes other people stay up on their toes a little bit. People may see you as a bit of a challenge, and I'm certain that you have mastered a very good eye roll at one point or another in your life. So I feel like people may think that they have to work a little bit harder to be near you, to be with you. They actually may see you as a little bit elevated from their position, or you may have a way of attracting people that fall into this kind of category. Some folks may in fact idealize you, friends or lovers, family members, acquaintances, people you work with. I really am getting that you are a bit Taurian. I think that's how you say it. Like there's Taurus energy here. You're kind of sumptuous, sumptuous. You enjoy your creature comforts. You enjoy the finer things in life, food and drink, nice gadgets, whatever it is that you enjoy collecting, you enjoy working with. Some of you may be a little curvier or fuller figured, have a little more mass on you, maybe bigger boned, and you're totally comfortable and very, very sensual in your movements and in your body. And, and going along with the movements, you might, you probably aren't somebody that is going to be rushed. You go on your own timeline, not with those quick motions. You're just one with the energy of the moment, which I think think just makes other people feel very, very comfortable with you. You may be a good cook, a good baker. You might enjoy playing in the kitchen. You may be somebody who enjoys a bubble bath or always has their nose in a book. Essentially, you know what you enjoy and you have no trouble indulging in those practices to keep your heart full and your cup full. I do get the picture that people would enjoy coming to your home to visit and watch you in your element or keep you company while you're cooking or entertaining. I feel like you probably would host these dinner parties where you've got this and that going on. Your home is probably a hot spot for gathering, so you just are kind of naturally magnetic in that way. Yeah, when you're in your element group three, you really, really shine. You are likely a very, very generous lover and folks may see you as their ideal match. And when you fall in love, I think you fall hard. And the recipient likely gets lavish treatment in whatever love language you speak. It's like no matter where you go, there's just this spotlight that's on you and all attention falls away when, uh, you know, from, from other people when you're there. It's just, the light just kind of gets drawn to you. I do think you spend time charging up your batteries in a way that best suits you. You may not be someone, again, who's rushed or very active, but you prioritize rest. You prioritize relaxation as a part of your daily activities and just that way, again, to keep your cup filled up. If you take vacations, you may not be that type of person that's up on your feet the entire time rushing around. We've got to fit every single thing in here. We have to see all the things and do all the things. You, you enjoy your time. You probably are checking out new restaurants or local cuisine, wine, beer, whiskey, eating delicious food. I just feel a lot of lively and active conversation around you. People have twinkles in their eyes. And for those of you who are like less outgoing, yeah, part of the less outgoing crew, conversation is still, it's not going to be a dull thing. When you have something to share, it's highly interesting to other people. So I do feel, regardless of which side of the fence you fall on, being introverted or extroverted or kind of ambiverted, you likely take vacations with other friends or family. And again, you just you kind of let other people come to you. For many of you, there's just this magnetism that draws other people in. So I do think people enjoy spending time with you and they always look forward to the next time that they see you. Let's take a peek at what else we have here. Little additional cards. All right, we've got the emperor. Queen of 
Queen of Bones or Queen of Wands. And the Magician. You have a lot of Major Arcana here. That's more than the other crew has gotten so far. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, so big energy. <laughs> For some of you, you have this kind of daddy energy. <laughs> You're in control. You know what you like. You're not afraid to ask for it or demand it. And that definitely attracts a certain type of person. And again, like that Taurus energy we talked about, Taurian energy, you, some people might call you a bombshell. Very sensual, very comfortable in your own skin, very, very grounded and practical and fiery as hell. When you get pissed off, you are a force. I think you have a way of getting things done that is uniquely you. It makes others feel cared for. It makes them feel special. But there's definitely this very interesting dynamic with partners. It's one of, of yin and yang. I don't know. Is that, I'm being drawn to the stone again, like the lighter and darker aspects of this, the shivalingam. I'll have to look that up. I don't remember if there's something to duality with this or not. I, I can't remember. It might be something to look into. So this yin and yang with a partnership, it, you, it could be very, very different in some instances, light and dark, you know, dominant and submissive, just completing each other in a different kind of way. But if the shoe fits, you know, go with it. And you also actually might find this true of your relationships with friends. Um, and so if you're someone who's like more of the outgoing side, you may have friends that are a little more chill. There's just, there's a balance. And I do think you're very grounded. You have everything that you need at your fingertips to create the life that you want. And I think that you're just kind of very aware of it. You're very grounded in your experience. Yeah, you're, you're a bit magical group three, but in the most grounded way possible. I think you are very, very blessed. All right, let's take a look at our other cards here, our little oracle cards. So we have got Sea Serpent. And Sit Spot, Surrender. Okay, so Sea Serpent represents expressing desire and emotion, your wants, expressing them, allowing them to come forward. And this again to me speaks to your physicality, your creativity, and you have again this unique way of expressing yourself that pulls other people to you. There is no fear, there's no shaming with you, friends and lovers alike are safe with you and on some level may recognize that before they get to know you. So you may be attracting strangers to you and not knowing why. And this can be part of that, just this dynamic aspect to yourself. Yeah. When you're in your element, your energy just invites other people in to share that space with you. And with the sit spot, this is the element of just being in the moment, which you embody so beautifully. You just, you don't fight the currents, but you go with the flow. And what isn't attractive about that? This is the element of surrender, of giving into desires, passions, creative insight, that sudden strike of inspiration. You are able to go with that and to give in and to pursue what you wish. This creative creation is a treasure to behold. And it, it's something I feel that you, because you're so giving, it's something you share readily and freely with those around you. So I really do feel that people in your circle are very blessed to be with you, group three. 
So group three, that is what I have for you today regarding some of the things about you that make you attractive to others. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to tell me in the box below what resonated for you today. If you enjoyed this, please check out my other pick a card readings and I look forward to working with you again soon. Bye group three. Hi group four, if you picked the moonstone, then this is your reading on what makes you attractive. Now keep in mind, this is just your dominant energy at the time um, of this reading and things that make you attractive can be many, many, many different things. So this is just what's in your energy currently if you are here. Let's take a look at what we have. To begin with, we have the Three of Cups. Oh my gosh, these look so tiny. <laughs> the Page of Swords. The Hermit, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, we're going to start with this and then we'll get into some other cards. <laughs> I hope you can see those, those are little. Okay, so right off the bat, group four. I'm getting that while you have a nice group of friends you probably that, that you enjoy spending time with, you probably are somebody who prefers recharging their batteries in solitude. So you may be somebody who enjoys the internet, social media, and connection that way. That actually fills your cup up a bit. And you might enjoy some time on platforms like Discord or chatting it up with folks on Reddit. You know, or just or just other types of social media as well, in addition to spending time with your other friends that you might see in real life. So I do think you may have groups of people that you connect with from all over the world, or if you're in the United States, all over the States, wherever you're from. And that little bit of separation, I think, especially if we're talking online, really allows you to shine with your words. I think you're always learning something new or exploring others' viewpoints, which makes you a wonderful listener and quite adaptable. There is this quality of enjoying your own company that we have right here, which can be a big draw to other people. Just you knowing what you like, what you don't like, and if someone were to invite you out and it isn't an activity that you prefer, you aren't going to be pointed about it, but I think you would find a way to let that person know or way that you know what you're up to you find a way to let them down so that they're not too disappointed and they probably end up becoming more interested in what it is that you would be doing instead so it's, they'll still have you on their brain and and with you here I really am getting this phrase and maybe it's because of they have green skin greenish bluish skin I'm hearing horse of a different color wasn't that in Wizard of Oz I don't remember but you're, you're really unique you're a unique group group four I think you have many interesting and unique hobbies that other folks you meet may not have you also may have a very unusual challenging enriching or unique job and I just think you're somebody who has a lot of stories to share group four You might be somebody who is just as comfortable sitting around playing board games with a few close friends as going out to like a themed costume party, for example, or traveling and spending a few days hiking in the wilderness somewhere. And I think the more time that people spend with you, the more time they want with you, friends and acquaintances, family, partners, while there is a part of yourself that may be a little guarded, there's also elements of your personality that are very open and I think you can be quite frank with other people which is disarming and it's very charming it's a charming way to be and I think group four that you really wear this quality quite beautifully I really do think you are the queen of your own castle and people are lined up at the drawbridge they want in they're knocking on the door and they want in so let's look at what else we have we have the tower. Okay. We have the eight 
de crasse. And the King of Wands. We've got a lot of royalty happening here. All right. Yeah, there's a really nice smattering of different types of energy with our water cups emotions. What's happening here? We've got the intellect, the mind, decision making, pragmatism, the swords. And then we've got the wands as well, which is fiery, creative, sexual. So you're likely somebody who isn't just intelligent, but you're also well acquainted with your own wants and needs and you're in touch with your emotions too, which helps you be that charming and clear communicator that we talked about. I think you're very straightforward with your language. You're somebody, let's call a spade a spade. And I do think people probably come to you with their problems or their fears. And I think you are a good listening ear. I think that you have been through some stuff yourself. You've had your own fair share of tough times, maybe even things that rocked your world at one point or another. They left an impression on you. But I think you've been able to turn that hurt into a strength as it makes you very aware of how valuable time is and you are able to remain present with those people who are hurting. And not everybody can do that. It's a beautiful option that you're giving them and an opportunity. Your heart is just so big and so beautiful. And I think also you are capable of sorting out what doesn't serve you and what doesn't suit you. If something isn't meant for you, you walk away from it. People, situations, job opportunities, connections, it, you've got a knack for telling when something isn't a good fit. And I think you're very grounded about walking away. It's kind of the same quality we talked about here when you let somebody down gently. I don't think that you make a big production about any of this. You're very present. You're in the moment with others, which again is a really, really big draw for people. I almost see the tower. I know it's collapsing, but it's, it's like we're leaning in here with like a magnet. And I do think just given we have the king of wands here, you are likely a very creative person. You may have hobbies that involve the arts, creating art of some kind or music or you like aesthetics, you may present yourself in a pleasing way through clothing choices or grooming, and it's just yet another quality that adds to this beautiful balance that you have. And I do feel you really have this unique outlook and viewpoint that's very compelling. I feel you probably have people talking about you a lot before, and in the nicest way. It's absolutely in the best way. Like, I think this person is so cool and they're so neat and, you know, all the wonderful things. So good stuff for you. All right, let's look at our Oracle cards here. We have got, ooh, Cobra. Do, do, do. All right, Dancing Cobra and Starstruck and Perspective. That's so pretty. I love it, okay. So, <laughs> as I was talking about that balance earlier I think in addition to that, you're very humble and very wise. Spirituality or religion may be something that's private or personal for you, but it is a part of your path. You may not always flaunt it or talk about it, but it's there. And it's just this other polished facet of your crown. Yeah. People may even be surprised if you bring anything up if they don't immediately know this part about you. It might be a little surprising to them. And I think you're also somebody who's always a student of life. You're always somebody who's learning about others. You're very focused on what's around you and just making the most of your time. And with Starstruck, again, you have this truly unique perspective on life and living that I think it really leaves other people, the word for it to me would be in awe and totally hooked. Starstruck is how you leave people feeling group four. And I think your energy is just absolutely pure magic. So group four, that's what I have for you today regarding some things about you that make you attractive to others. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to tell me in the box below what resonated for you today. If you enjoyed this, please check out my other pick a card readings and I look forward to working with you again soon. Bye group four. Hi group five, if you picked the Iolite, 
then this is your reading on what makes you attractive. Now keep in mind this is about your current energy. You may have loads of other ways that you are attractive. This is just what is currently coming through for you at this particular moment. Let's take a look at your cards. All right, so we're starting with the tower. Ten of Swords. The Wheel, or the Wheel of Fortune. King of Wands. The Sun. Three of Wands. the Ten of Cups. We also have a few Oracle cards we'll take a look at a little bit later. Okay, so <laughs> here's the deal. Group five, you have been through some stuff and you have come out on the other side. You aren't necessarily wearing this battle-tested armor either that people might go through or don because of what they've gone through. Your experiences present like something that has changed you, but in a way that has made you more yourself. You are becoming more settled and more yourself every single day of living. There's a beauty and an acceptance here that have people curious about you and about your story. You may have even been a bit more armored up prior to whatever this, this loss was or this troubling time, but you have emerged on the other side of this less shielded and you allow others to better see your authenticity. And I think people are honestly a little bit awed by you perhaps even a little bit intimidated sometimes, but you have this warmth to you that leaves no doubt that you've taken care of yourself and that you've done a lot of inner healing work. So group five, you have this way of seeing the world as very balanced and you understand its ups and downs. Yes, you're still human, you still have good days, you still have bad, but I believe you are more able to take a balanced perspective and not get carried away by the crappy. You know that there is sunshine waiting, and this lends a very chill vibe to you as well. You're likely intense. You have an intensity to you, but at the same time, you have this relaxed way of coming across to others. And I know that sounds like an absolute dichotomy, but somehow you just embody both ends of the spectrum, like either side of the rainbow here. You're everything. You're all of it. And People love being around you because you carry this wisdom of someone who's loved and lived and your intellect is sexy, your chill vibe draws people in and it makes them feel good. You may have a bit of a healer energy to you as well. You may actually be giving people a little emotional boost just by being nearby and your authenticity will ensure that people keep coming back for more. And I'm getting very, very randomly that some of you <laughs> smell really good. <laughs> good perfume, cologne, scent. Maybe you burn a kind of incense or something that is just like on your clothes. I don't know. Laundry detergent. You smell good. You may also have a creative streak as well, which can look like a lot of different things depending on who's watching, but I get the feeling that however you express yourself, it's important or integral to you. And you don't do it because you need attention, but it's something that your soul needs you to do. And that, again, is very magnetic. That has, that's drawing people's attention. You have this sunniness to you, or you shine your light wherever you go. And because you aren't so shielded now, people can see this light and they're drawn to it. It just pulls them in. 
I do think that you are also someone who's very active, either seeking out new things to do or try. You may also be quite physically active or enjoy spending time outside. Some of you may be very fit as well. I do think you're always curious and you're willing to learn new things. You may enjoy traveling, and I feel like your brain is always three steps ahead of others. I do think you also have a very vivid imagination and express that perhaps creatively, yeah, creativity, <laughs> creatively in writing, song, design, those kinds of things. And I mean, it, there could be lots of things that I'm not even thinking of, but there's just this curiosity and joy and optimism that permeates you, and it just pulls people in like magnets. They want to share the sunshine with you. And I really do think people see you as an ideal partner, group five, someone that they can construct a life with. I really feel like you are long-term relationship material. You're settled and content with your life, your community, your family, your friends. There's a harmony around you and in you which makes you shine. And I think people want part of this emotional stability you possess and likely will seek you out to spend time with you. You really do have an absolutely beautiful soul group five. So let's check out your oracle cards here. We have got deer. And flower crown freedom. I need a dog hair on that. <laughs> a couple of them. Okay. So, just ever watchful, tender, expressive, emotive, likely intuitive, others oriented. These are qualities that you possess. You may be very nurturing or caring of others and interested in their daily lives as well. There is a calm watchfulness to you and a bit of removal from what's going on. Just one foot in the ethers and the other firmly planted here in the physical. And I think you may attract people who want you to care for them and those who want to take care of you likewise. There's a little bit of both. I feel like there definitely there may be some people that are kind of more in that protective masculine energy or even, I mean, you can think of it like mama bear energy, whatever. Just. They want to shield you. I almost see that as a shield. They want to protect you, take care of you. Yeah, you're very precious to people. And you do have this airy quality about you that makes others want to grasp a hold of you before you disappear. You aren't tethered to a person or place unless you choose it. And that makes people just want to hold on I suspect you have very deep loyalties when you do choose who you're spending your time with you have this freedom of thought you have freedom of choice and a sweetness to you a gentleness that just permeates everything that you do it's such a dramatically different energy from where we started but I feel like with the sun it's just showing us this is this is who you truly are more in touch with everything. Look at we both have ends of cycles here with the tens of swords and the ten of cups there. Beautiful. Wow. You are truly a marvel, group five. And it's no wonder that you have others that really are intrigued by you and want to get to know you a little bit better. So group five, that's what I have for you today regarding some of the things that make you attractive to others. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to tell me in the box below what resonated for you today. If you enjoyed this, please check out my other pick a card readings. I look forward to working with you again soon. Bye group five. Hi group four, if you picked the tiger iron, then this is your reading on what makes you attractive. Now keep in mind that we're attractive in many different ways and this is just about what's coming through in your current energy. All right, let's take a look at what we have. Four of Wands. The Three of Cups. The Three of Wands.
King of Cups. Ten of Cups. Wow. Five of Wands. And the Seer of Swords. Okay, we'll look at your Oracle cards at the end. <clears throat> So group six, you are somebody who lives life to its fullest every single day. You see the potential in everything and you go for it. You go for what you want. When you set your sights on a target, it is absolutely yours and nothing is going to get in the way of that. It's attractive how you prioritize your needs and desires and make things happen for yourself and for those that you care about. There's a solidarity here, a firm foundation for going forward, a springboard for your next steps in life, and that has piqued some folks' interest in you. You are likely someone who enjoys the company of others. You may be a bit of a partier with those who are like-minded and in your inner circle. There is a very happy and celebratory nature about you that makes others want to snuggle up to your warmth. You are definitely somebody who looks on the bright side of life and you are always seeing the potential in other people and other things, your dreams, your visions. You have these wonderful ideas and you are unafraid about sharing those with others. And when you talk about these hopes and dreams, you really light up and it makes other people happy and feel like they get to see the secret part of you, even if it really isn't. You have a way of making your words feel like a gift to others and a privilege. You are likely, I mean, despite some of this energy here, I'm still getting that you're a chill person. You have this beautiful balance of fire and water that we see here in the cards. And it gives me the impression of someone who's very at home in their bodies and in their human experience. You got the yin and the yang balanced out. And that doesn't mean that everything was always easy for you, but you just exude this fluidity, this ease, this relaxation. Although I do get that your mind probably races quite a bit. You may have had to work to calm your thoughts through meditation or yoga or something that works as a vehicle to help you chill out. I do think you are deeply in tune with your emotions, although you may not always advertise that part of yourself. It's there if people get close enough to you to see it, if you allow that. I do see you dropping these little breadcrumbs and people are like these little juncos or sparrows behind you just eating up everything that you have to offer. For you, there is a lot here going on beneath the surface. Even though some people might look at you and think otherwise initially, like maybe misunderstanding you until they get to know you, you might keep things on the down low. You might hide a little bit from your emotions. They could be a bit overwhelming at times, but I feel that you have done some inner work that has allowed you to get more in touch with them and embody this king energy that we have here. And with the Ten of Cups, you are someone who's happy with where you live, where you work, where you play. So a lot of harmony with you and your community. And again, it's just this very soothing, kind of solid feeling of contentment. And you radiate this to everyone who sees you. It's very endearing. It's authentic. People want to be part of your inner circle to get to know you better. And I do think part of that contentment, it does have to do, I think you're an outside person. So I think where you live is very, a very beautiful place. Or you're very happy with your environment. You are somebody who likely stands up for what they believe in, but you aren't necessarily someone who rocks the boat just to stand out for attention. Maybe when you were younger, but <laughs> if someone or something crosses you, you have no problem being firm and standing up, um, speaking up. And this might also be something that you recently have come into. In the past, there might've been more confusion in your world 
less of that steady compass that's coming up here but at this juncture it's just not that's not so much of an issue or you found ways to manage that maybe that's managing the chill that we kind of talked about earlier i do really feel you are in a solid steady and happy place right now group six and you just have fire to keep going you make others notice that it makes them feel excited and youthful when they're around you like they can have whatever it is that you're having and you're also likely somebody who is happy to learn new things you have no problem educating others who have questions about things that you're interested in or knowledgeable about you are bright and enthusiastic and magnetic there's just no strings attached either to what you're presenting to people like you don't have a stake in anything in particular you're not out to convince anybody of anything so you have this intellect but you're also just you have this let it be let things be which is just very very beautiful it's a beautiful way to be all right so we also have oh my gosh i love this card hawk it seems to fit in very well and early riser energy well, you might be an early riser you might have to get up early for a job um let's start with hawk though there's been this thread for me of just here and there, hopping, skipping, jumping of intuition. And this is where it's it's really coming through. But this is you kind of coming into your own. Maybe this has to do with you standing up and kind of showing off your roots and showing off that emotional side. Stepping more into your sovereignty and look at how freeing that is. There's this perceptiveness to you that you may not recognize as intuition, but it is. You feel like somebody who's very at home in their body. So your intuitive hits may not be as much about clairvoyance, clear seeing, clear audience, clear hearing, but probably clairsentience, which is has to do with feelings and emotions, allowing your gut and your heart to steer the course for you. And that's just magic. Not everybody does that. Not everyone's so in tune. Sometimes it's just all intellectualization and consumerism and these ideas that things have to be a certain way you know which can have to do with how you're raised it can have to do with where you live but you march to the beat of your own drum you you catch your your little updraft and you do your own thing yeah that's very magical and I think people see that magic streak the way that you're flying here, this is how they see you, enjoying life, riding the winds, and just, just kind of magic, just doing your thing. Makes people feel good. You make people feel good. So group six, also we've got this early riser energy. That's really pretty. You are likely to enjoy nature, again, to its fullest. I think this is just kind of going back to that. This almost looks like a snowflake, so you might really enjoy the snow too. You might be in a northern area, if you're in the northern hemisphere somewhere where it snows you know we've got all the seasons yeah that's like the end of summer with a goldenrod coming off from the snow here this looks like a snowflake to me this could be fall fall spring yeah so i i think you're just very integrated into nature you enjoy it to its fullest. You see Mother Earth as its home. Again, happiness in your community. And you have this earthy magic to yourself that makes people feel comfortable and at home too. It just, you're in nature, but you're kind of like exuding it as well. It's kind of oozing out of you. I likely think too, I, I, I don't know, just given this, the structure here, and we've got threes here. Threes like special for me. That's a special number. So I don't know. And the, the reds, I'm kind of feeling like you are a very strong manifester, regardless of whether you ascribe to that or not, or follow anything about manifesting. That might be something you want to look up law of attraction and that kind of thing. That, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, what's not to love about that? Your energy is very, very magnetic, group six. And I think, honestly, like, I want to spend time with you too, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let me know who you are in the comment box below. So group six, that's what I have for you today regarding some things about you that make you attractive to others. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to tell me in the box below what resonated for you and who are you. And 
Uh, if you enjoyed this, please check out my other pick-a-card readings. I look forward to working with you again soon. Bye, Group 6.